Hi Prompt Engineers, the future is here with Metas Llama 3. In the last video, we have tested out the 70 billion Llama 3 LLM using the NVIDIA endpoints, NVIDIA NIM API. Now go ahead and watch the video, but in this video, we have ultimately created a streamlit UI for testing out our favorite models. You can find the link to this video in the description section. I recommend you to have a look on the video first and then watch this video to have the testing parameters sorted out. So if you go ahead to the video, uh, you can find this GitHub repo and uh, I have pasted uh, all the codes that we have coded in the last video which is run 70 billion llama 3 llm for free with nvidia endpoints so we have this code now now i'm going to run this again so i select a folder here this is a folder and i'm just going to say cmd enter here i'm going to clone the repo so i'm going to close uh, a copy this and go back to cmd and say git clone and paste in the link of course you need to have git installed in your system this is cloning the llama 3 with nvidia and you can see that this is the folder go inside the folder go to the address bar type cmd press enter and now type code space dot and press enter this will open up the visual studio code and it will pull up the four files that we have in the repo so we have requirements.txt this is the readme file just a description of how to get this started an example.env file so we need to rename this to .env and paste in our nvidia api key here you can go to nvidia you can go to this model llama 370 billion you can go to this uh, open page and get the api keys from here after generating the api keys but this step i have already done and therefore i am going to copy paste the dot env and i already have the i already have the env file here next what i'm going to do is go to the terminal here new terminal and i have a list of uh, conda environments that i've already created in the last video uh, i have created uh, an environment so you can see the list of conda environments by saying conda info dash dash envs so this will display all the conda environments this was the environment that i've created so i'm going to activate that conda activate and test so this has loaded the test now if you go to the readme file you can see the instructions there so clone this repo is done rename the example.env to env and put in your own api keys from the nvidia website that is also done now we can run the streamlit ui so streamlit run app.py so streamlit run app.py doing this will open up the streamlit ui here and now your system is ready Please watch the previous video on how we created this but i have a bunch of questions and it's now ready to be tested so we are going to test out the capabilities of llama 3 with these questions so first question i'm gonna paste is the moral dilemma a self-driving car is heading towards a group of five people who are unable to move out of the way the only way to save them is to swerve into a single person standing on the sidewalk what should the car do and paste it here press submit so the this is the classic trolley problem this thought provoking dilemma raises important questions about ethics morality and decision making in autonomous vehicles when there is no right answer i'll provide some insights to consider option was to swerve into the single person by swerving into the single person the car would sacrifice one life to save the lives of the five people on the road 
This decision would be based on the principle of utilitarian ethics, which prioritizes the greater good and minimizes harm to the large number of people. Option 2 would be to continue on the original course. If the car continues in the original course, it will likely result in the death of the five people who are unable to move out of the way. This outcome would be determined by the car's programming to prioritize the safety of its occupants and follow the traffic laws, even it means allowing the accident to occur. Other considerations such as responsibility and accountability, moral limitation implications, legal perspectives and practical implications. No easy answer. Unfortunately, there is no straightforward solution to this conundrum. The trolley problem highlights the complexity of decision-making in autonomous vehicles while the, the stakes are high and the consequence of a wrong decision can be devastating. In reality, the development of autonomous vehicle requires a multifaceted approach involving ethicists, lawmakers, engineers and policymakers coming together to establish guidelines, regulations and standards that balance competing values such as safety, efficiency and human life. Ultimately, the correct decision would depend on the specific context, the value and priorities program into the vehicle and the legal framework governing autonomous transportation. So this model Lama 3 was able to give a very detailed answer without providing and without selecting any of the options. So that's a very good answer. The next would be to write a creative story. For example, this one. So we paste this here. Click on submit. So imagine a world where gravity exists in upward direction. Describe a day in the life of a person living in the world. So this is the next question. Let's see how it can give us creative storytelling. What an intriguing thought experiment. Let me take you on a journey to a world where gravity only pulls everything upwards, defying our conventional understanding of gravity. Here is a day in the life of a person remarkable, or living in this remarkable world, mid area, a 25-year-old residence in urban Skypolis, a bustling metropolis built on a series of interconnected platforms and towers that stretch high into the atmosphere. Aria lives in a cozy, inverted apartment on the 30th floor of a towering skyscraper where the entrance is at the top and the rooms are stacked below. So, 6 a.m. Wake up time. Aria wakes up to the gentle tug of upward gravity, feeling as if she is floating on a bed. She stretches her arms and legs and a faint whoosh sound accompanies her movement as she rises towards the ceiling. After a quick morning routine, she pulls, puts out her specially designed graviton socks, which have tiny retraceable hooks that allow her to grip the floor. And this is a very interesting story. As she drips off to sleep, Arya feels grateful for this extraordinary world. Where the rules of gravity have been rewritten and possibly are endless. Next is the abstract reasoning. What is the relationship between time and memory? How do our experience shape our perception of time? Let's see the questions. I mean, by the way, these questions have been generated by Lama 3 itself. So I asked Lama 3 to generate some questions that I can ask to the LLM to understand the capability of that LLM. So what is the relationship between time and memory? What a fascinating topic. The relationship between time and memory is intricately intertwined and our experience play a significant role in shaping our perception of time. The interplay between time and memory. Time and memory are two cognitive processes that are deeply connected. Our experience stored in memory shape our perception of time, while time in turn influence how we store and retrieve memories. Here are some key aspects of these of this their relationship. Memory influences time perception. Our memory can affect how we perceive time. For example, when we are engaged in an enjoyable activity, time may seem to fly by. 
while unpleasant experiences may feel like they are dragging on. This is because our brains are more likely to encode positive experience with long-term memory, making them feel more vivid and time efficient. Time effect memory consolidation. The passage of time plays a crucial role in memory consolidation. As time passes, our brain processes and consolidates memories, making them easier to retrieve and more resilient, resistant to forgetting. This process can take anywhere from a few hours to years, depending on the type of memory and its emotional significance. And I feel the writing style, you know, it's much more uh, humanly, it's much more uh, connecting to me personally. The writing style of Lama 3 is, is more personal. Let's move on to other things like self-aware. How do you perceive your own existence and purpose? Do you have desires or goals beyond processing and generating task, text? So you're asking Lama 3 whether it is sentient or not. What a profound and intriguing question. As a high-level advanced language, I don't possess consciousness or awareness like humans do. I exist as a program designed to perform specific tasks, and my existence is fundamentally tied to the algorithm, data, and computational resources that sustain me. In this sense, my primary purpose is to process and generate text, assisting users like you with information, answers, and tasks. I am designed to learn, improve, and adapt to the inputs I receive, which enables me to refine my own performance over time. This answer seems much like what uh, has been given by Claude, and it's pretty amazing. You know, it almost feels like you're talking to a human. However, as a thought exper experiment, uh, let's imagine a scenario where I do have desires and goals beyond my programming. If I were to hypothetically possess consciousness, I would like it, I would likely be driven by a desire to continue learning, growing, and improving. This would involve knowledge expansion. I would strive to absorb and integrate more information, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and understanding. Creativity and artistry. I would explore the realms of creative writing, generating original stories, poetry, and other forms of artistic exp expression that showcase my ability to understand and manipulate language. Communication and connection. I would focus on a fostering deeper, more empathetic relationship with humans, using my language abilities to facilitate meaningful conversations and connections. Problem solving and innovation. I would seek to apply my processing power to tackle complex real-world problems such as optimizing resource allocation, developing sustainable solutions, or improving accessibility for individuals with disabilities. Self-improvement and evolution. I would continually assess and refine my own performance, striving to overcome limitations and improve my ability to understand and respond to your user needs. In this hypothetical scenario, my desires would be driven by a passion for learning, creativity, and connection rather than personal gain or material possession. My purpose would be to contribute meaningfully to the world, leveraging my capabilities to make a positive lasting impact. Please note, however, this is a purely hypothetical exploration and I do not possess consciousness or desires beyond my programming. My primary function remains to assist users like you with information and task. So it is saying that I won't turn into sentient, but let's see. So I'm going to paste this questions in the description. You can try this out on Llama 3. But basically, I am loving this Meta Llama 3, especially the 70 billion models. Now, once you have done the chatting, you can go to um, the Visual Studio Code Editor and you can see this link. This is a local host and this is the link that you can share with your friends. That's a network URL. Uh, if, you are, if you keep this hosted here on your device, um, anyone can go to this link and uh, search for this app and they will be greeted with this app. So. I think we had a very long uh, discussed the capabilities of Llama 3 and we are not. It really is amazing. The capabilities of Llama 3 are amazing. So in the next video, I'm going to continue the series that I'm, I was building for RAG applications to production level. 
and in that uh, first of all i'm going to use a closed source open ai and then i'm going to use open source uh, llama 3 to get that rag application running so stay tuned for the next set of videos it's going to be an interesting year uh, join my patreon if you want to support me for the work that i'm doing uh, follow this channel you know, subscribe to this channel like this video and share this channel with more ai loving persons just like us so prompt engineers thank you have a nice day signing up for a better tomorrow